whether you like it plain, shimmery with some texture to it, bright like fluorescent, or even some pattern, okay? Vinyl is gonna be a good way for you to get started when it comes to making t-shirts. What is up, good people? Welcome and welcome back to another video. It's your girl, Alex, and Defined by Alex. In today's video, I wanna break down the different types of heat transfer vinyl so that you guys can get a better understanding about which one to use, how to use them when it comes to pressing t-shirts, especially if you are a beginner getting started. Now, although I'm not currently selling t-shirts, that doesn't mean that the t-shirt content will be stopped, okay? I still have so much knowledge when it comes to sharing my thoughts and my experience about, you know, vinyl, the heat press business, and things that I learned throughout my journey getting started. And if there is one thing I want to stress is that when you start with vinyl, there is a learning curve like no other. And that's why I want to help bridge that gap for those of you who are new with heat transfer vinyl and just pretty much help you get more comfortable with using it for your business. Let's get started. Okay, so let me just take this all the way back, okay? Back in 2020, I started my t-shirt business and I started using vinyl. Now this was way before I got hip on transfers and screen printing and all that stuff. I started with what y'all see behind me, my Cameo, a heat press I got from eBay and I I just was like out the box had no clue okay what to do when it came to pressing t-shirts but in that process of learning and growing and just figuring out what to do when it comes to t-shirts I've had my fair share of using heat transfer vinyl and understanding how to apply it the best way and to make it last when it comes to you know t-shirt applications and then selling them to customers and let me just say this I don't think heat transfer vinyl is going anywhere I think that honestly it just depends on you the creator creator, the crafter, getting that feel of what's going to be best for you to use for your business, what's going to need the most time that's valued and you know your production process and things like that. So my thing when it comes to heat transfer vinyl and best practices, I just merely say just try it you know because you just never know if it's going to be something you want to rock with for a long time or just something you add in the combination of t-shirt applications you know for your business. So let me go ahead and get started with just the basic levels of heat transfer vinyl and I'm gonna start with the plain okay okay so let me just get started with like the basic beginner friendly vinyl that you guys see that I'm showing you right here this is Caesar easy weed okay now Caesar easy weed is what I started out with and when I tell y'all I freaking loved it like I had no issues with Caesar easy weed and it's just so many more variations when it comes to vinyl but to get started this is the type of vinyl that I suggest you start with as a beginner because when it comes to cutting and weeding and then pressing it's not going to take a lot you know as far as the different loopholes when it comes to pressing heat transfer vinyl the way that this vinyl is designed it's very smooth so when you press it it's just going to be such a smooth finish and I really love it so as far as getting started to where you don't have to really do a lot of complicated presses I would recommend you start off with a solid color basic you know um, heat transfer vinyl specifically if you want to go with the Caesar easy weed you will not go wrong because again I think that it's very good for beginners and you don't have to worry about like all the other complicated applications that I'm about to get into with the next type of vinyl. Okay so moving on to the more like advanced and complicated application styles when it comes to heat transfer vinyl with the pattern vinyl as you guys can see here this has a pattern to it but it's still heat press friendly so this is still HTV it just has a pattern design. The caveat with pattern vinyl is that you're going to need what's called a mask. Let me show you. Okay, so as y'all can see what I'm just showing you, this is what's called a mask. And what happens is you would take this and you would pretty much have to apply the mask with the pattern vinyl to press it on a t-shirt. I'm going to show you more here in a second, but just to give you like a first glimpse as to what it requires when it comes to pressing pattern vinyl, you will 99% of the time need what's called a mask. Just because of how this is engineered when it comes to pressing, it's not going to apply the same way as the regular solid vinyl does that I just showed y'all. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit more 
more in depth about applying pattern vinyl just to show you but just to give you like a quick little rundown when it comes to pattern vinyl you're going to always want to make sure you have a mask that you use with it so that way you can apply it the best way for your t-shirts okay now for the people who like the glitter who like the texture who likes the pop 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 are you gonna like the like glitter vinyl and you know other types of vinyl that has like that shimmery look hopefully y'all can see here on camera that it has like a glitter texture but I love the glitter vinyl I remember when I made a video on how to layer vinyl and I'll just post that video right here but I use the glitter HTV and <laughs> no regrets okay I love it and I really like how it just adds that special sauce to your t-shirt if you wanted to you know make somebody birthday shirts or you wanted to make somebody something you know they love pink and bedazzled and all that good stuff so I really like the glitter vinyl now the glitter vinyl is similar to the solid vinyl when it comes to application it does not require a mask and you know you just have to adjust your cut settings I'm gonna talk about cut settings here in a second but just to share a quick overview when it comes to glitter vinyl it really takes minimal effort as well you just have to play around with your cut settings if you're using a silhouette cameo or a Cricut machine all right so let's talk about the metallic vinyl that gives you so much to work with I mean let's just compare so when comparing just in dimension if y'all can see that this is the basic vinyl and this is going to be your standard like 12 by 12 in dimensions but then I believe this is if not 15 I believe for the for the metallic vinyl so this is going to be a little bit longer so you might have to just cut your pieces accordingly just so it can fit on your vinyl cutter now there are vinyl cutters that are you know beyond the 12 by 12 um so if you guys wanted to get those then you could just you know research that but when it comes to just like just the, the difference there's so much more room left when it comes to the metallic vinyl than the basic let me dive more into this metallic vinyl now this metallic vinyl not gonna lie there is a learning curve when it comes to using this because this isn't the same type of depth so you have a little bit more thickness um when it comes to the actual backing of the vinyl like I've used this before and struggled okay but that's because I didn't know what I was doing but again when it comes to using vinyl not all vinyl is created equal I think I've said that before to y'all so you're gonna have to pretty much try different cut settings and experiment on what cut settings are gonna work best for each type of vinyl okay so when it comes to the metallic I really like it it gives you that little pop too just like the glitter vinyl when it comes to making t-shirts but it definitely requires different cut settings just because it's a little bit thicker as far as the backing you know and things like that all right y'all so you see how let me just open this up because it kind of curled but this is the regular HTV when I mean regular I just mean like your basic solid and it is flipped or mirrored because when you press it you press it this way and as y'all see it's reading the right way so when it comes to your solid and your basic you know vinyl you always have to mirror or flip it in your um, Silhouette Studio and Cricut Design Space. So that way it just presses the right way. But what I wanna show you is the pattern vinyl. And so this is what that pattern vinyl looks like. Now I haven't applied the mask yet, but I will here in just a second. But as y'all see, just to compare, I know it's kind of weird, I'm trying to hold these and show y'all at the same time. But you have one that's flipped, mirrored, and then one that is not. Just because of how the pattern vinyl is made and engineered, you don't flip this. So I'm gonna apply the mask so I can show you guys how to do that. I'm gonna put this little pencil cup on it so that way it can hold down. And so here's the mask. I just peeled off the backing. I'm gonna put this on here. Now what I would recommend you do is have some type of credit card or squeegee that you know you can use. So that way, you know, the vinyl pretty much is going to adhere. And I'm just taking a ruler just to make sure all that is applicable. I will go from the back first. So if you're ever using pattern vinyl the way that I do it, I just peel off the back first. So now, as y'all can see, and this is what it's going to look like on the t-shirt because I applied that mask. And when you apply the mask, now the design appears the right way. And this is how we're going to press it. All right, so let's dive a little deeper. So here's the pattern vinyl, as y'all can see on the details, okay? And then here is the solid vinyl. And again, this is just a quick tutorial 
to show you guys how to apply pattern vinyl if you've never used it before and if you want to use it. You will have to do a few extra steps, but nonetheless, it should give you the same finishes just like I've shown you here when you're using the masking sheet and then you just have to keep it the same so you don't mirror this. That's one thing I want y'all to take away from this whole video is that when it comes to pattern vinyl, this is the vinyl that you will not have to mirror just because of how it applies and how it has to be on that masking sheet, okay? so. This is what it looks like, final look. Just made something real quick just to show y'all and compare. All right, good people. So I hope that helps you understand more about the vinyl application techniques, especially when it comes to pattern vinyl, regular vinyl, metallic, some texture, things like that. So when it comes to using your HTV as a beginner, just know that you're gonna have to test out using the HTV with different cut settings. So not all HTV is gonna require the same default cut settings. As a matter of fact, there are a couple different factors when it comes to the cut settings too. You wanna take into account if your blade is fresh so for your silhouette cameo if your blade is new and fresh then that means it's going to really puncture through well and you don't have to increase your cut settings but on the flip side if you've been using your cameo honey and you've been running it running it running it then I suggest that you just replace your blade because it might get dull over time which will require you to have to change it out if you're noticing that your vinyl isn't cutting the same so that's a really good indication to know what to change in your product process when it comes to vinyl because if your vinyl ain't cutting the way it needs to be cut then you need to probably change your cut settings or change your blade so that way you won't have any issues in the future now as far as the detailed numbers of the cut settings I would recommend for your force between like a 7 to 10 when it comes to pattern vinyl again that goes back to that's contingent off of if your blade is sharp or dull but if your blade is pretty sharp then for your pattern vinyl I would recommend a 10 for the force is going to be your sweet spot it's not going to puncture through the vinyl and it's going to cut very well and smooth and just like butter but then if it's a little bit dull then you might want to increase that just a little bit more just so that way you know it cuts the first time and you don't have to keep running it through the cameo and basically work harder than what you have to what I was using when it came to using my silhouette cameo as far as like the blade depth I didn't go honestly past a seven I don't feel like you need to depending on again how well your blade cuts so I'll say around a seven for your blade depth between a five or seven if your blade is really sharp and then a seven and plus if your blade is really dull and that's pretty much it okay so if you guys are wondering what cut settings are the best to use for your vinyl then I hope that helps but of course play around okay because things may have changed since I've been using the cameo and I want to make sure you guys get the best out of your machine and the vinyl that you bought so if you're interested in any of the vinyl that I just showed you today Today. I'll leave everything in my description box below. I get all of my vinyl from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I rock with them hard when it comes to vinyl. I always went with them when it came to my vinyl needs because I was never disappointed. So boom, that's it. That's all. But other than that, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Leave me a comment down below if this video helped you. If you want to start using vinyl for your t-shirts or if you just really want to say hey because that's all right too. But as always, don't forget to drink your... Mind your business and always choose yourself first and I'll be back in my next video. And bye y'all.